Hey everybody, it's Miss Lori. This week we are going to talk about sheep and shepherds. Have you ever been around sheep before? Maybe at a petting zoo or a trip to a farm? Or maybe you actually know someone that has sheep. Well, they're big, white, and uh, they're, they're, I guess you'd call it fur, I'm not sure, it's wool that they, that they have on them, fluffy coats of wool. And that wool is sheared or cut off with, a, with um, razors, kind of like razors, but they call it shearing. And uh, the wool is used, it's spun into yarn, and it's used for to keep a lot of things that keep us warm, like sweaters and mittens and hats and blankets. I actually have a blanket right here with me that was knit with yarn that's wool, and it's really soft and it keeps me warm, and it's April, today when I'm recording this but I really am enjoying having this blanket on my lap because it's cold today so a sheep provides a lot of a lot of um, material wool for us to have things that keep us warm and a shepherd is a person who looks after the sheep a group of sheep are called a flock so a shepherd has a flock of sheep that he's responsible for and he has to make sure that they have food to eat and water to drink and to protect them from other animals, wild animals when they're out in the field. Uh, that's a shepherd's job. He also maybe keeps them clean sometimes with that wool uh, leaves and dirt stick get in there, get tangled in there or briars or like sticky sticky things that are um, in the grass can can get in there too and so the the shepherd will help take care of them with that too and did you know that also sheep do not have a great sense of direction so they need the shepherd because they might not find their way home or find their way to the to the creek or the stream where they need to drink water they need the shepherd they need the sh to follow the shepherd Sometimes he even has to remind them to rest, to lay down and rest. So basically he just takes care or helps them take care of all of their needs. The shepherd, he recognizes all of his sheep. Um, he spends so much time with them that he knows, even though to us sheep may kind of all look alike, but he knows each sheep and he knows which sheep are his. And the sheep also learn to recognize their shepherd's voice. They know him when he is calling them or directing them, uh, leading them. There are many stories in the Bible about sheep. Sheep are mentioned a lot. Um, Moses was a shepherd. He took care of sheep for many years in the wilderness. And David before he was king, when he was a young boy, he also was a shepherd for his father's flocks of sheep. In our Bible verses today, it's Jesus talking, and he calls himself a shepherd. He calls himself the good shepherd. And I'm going to read a couple verses from John 10. I'm going to read verse 11 and then verse 14. And so this is Jesus talking, and he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And in the, then in verse 14, he says, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and I'm known by my own. So what he's telling us is that he knows each of us. He, he is like a shepherd and we are the sheep. He knows us. He cares for us. He protects us. But just like the shepherd learns his sheep, like I was saying earlier, we must also learn to recognize the Good Shepherd or recognize Jesus. We can learn about the Good Shepherd by studying and reading about his life and also through prayer. Maybe going to Sunday school, maybe listening to children's sermons. You know, Jesus wants us to follow him. He wants to be the good shepherd for all of us and wants us to follow him just like the sheep follow the, the shepherd because they maybe don't know what direction to go. Jesus wants to lead us. He wants us to follow him. He is the good shepherd. He will guide us. He will teach us. He will help us when we go the wrong direction or we don't know which direction to go 
Or maybe we make a bad choice and need to change that direction. He'll help us when we're in trouble or lost. He's always with us, watching us, just like a shepherd watches his sheep. And Jesus recognizes us. But we have to, our job then is to make sure that we can recognize him and his voice so we can follow him every day. So the next time you see sheep, think about that, that you have a good shepherd too, one that is with you always. All right, let's say a prayer. I will say it and then give you a chance to repeat it after me. All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he is the good shepherd who helps us when we lose direction or need help. May we always follow the good shepherd. Amen. Thanks so much for listening this week. I hope you have a great one. See you again soon. Bye-bye.